Whether you're throwing a backyard bash, football tailgate, or just normal block party, it's always good to bring a cold keg of beer. What you don't want to do is commit a party foul and not know how to set it up. The following video is going to show you how to set this properly and have the beer flowing smoothly. Step 1. Get the right keg pump. Most domestic beers use a D-style Sankey coupler. Please refer to our coupler guide to make sure you have the right piece of equipment for your style of beer. Step 2. Chill your keg. It's important to keep the keg cold before serving. Chill your keg for 4-5 to five hours before tapping to avoid warm and foamy beer. Continue to fill the bucket to surround all sides of the keg with ice, even on the top. Step 3. Attach your keg pump. Before attaching your keg pump, it is very important to make sure that the lever handle is in the off position with the handle upright and unlocked. Double check to make sure the faucet head is closed as well. Align the coupler tabs with the openings at the top of the keg and press the coupler down until it fits inside the neck. Turn clockwise until it locks into place. Once it is locked, pull out the handle and then push it down to engage the pump. If you see bubbles or foam leaking from the top of the keg, then your pump is not attached securely. Disengage the coupler by pulling the handle out and then up. Disconnect the coupler from the keg and then try again. Step four, time to pour. Now that your keg pump is attached and engaged, you can start pouring. Do not start pumping the keg right away. There's enough carbonation in the beer that will allow the keg to pour right away. When the beer flow slows down, keep the faucet open and pump the handle four to five times. This should return the flow rate to normal. If you see a little foaming at first, don't be alarmed. This could be due to the fact that the keg may be recently shaken or isn't down to the correct temperature. Keeping the keg chilled on ice should get it down to the correct temperature, depending on how long it's been warm. If you're wondering how long the keg is gonna last by using a beer pump like this, it's around 12 to 24 hours. What you're doing is taking oxygen from the outside and putting it in the beer. So in about a 24 hour period, you're gonna oxidize the beer where you'll notice a tasteful difference. If you want this to last longer, another option would be a CO2 based system that puts CO2 into the beer as opposed to oxygen. Once your keg's been kicked and you wanna disengage the keg pump, pull out on the handle and then up. Turn the entire keg pump counterclockwise until it comes off of the keg. After you're done using your party pump, you want to clean it out. At minimum, you want to rinse out the beer residue from the inside with some cold water. If you want to clean it properly, please see kegworks.com for a cleaning keg where you can properly dispense cleaning solution through the entire assembly. 